So uh, Chase and I just got done recording, but uh, Chase shared this cold email that he received that was definitely a faux pas, terrible example. We're both just riffing on it right now and how many ways it's bad uh, is worth sharing with everybody in this course. I'm going to share my screen real quick and then I'll have Chase explain what it is. Um, so I believe this is the first email that Chase received. Uh, the first email is, is the, the longer one. Uh, so a little backstory on how this came up is uh, the obviously I'm a podcast host and we also have a bunch of articles on uh, our, our podcast website. Uh, but this one in particular is uh, they're reaching out and essentially the premise of the outreach is, hey, we noticed you linked to company XYZ. Uh, you, should you, you should probably just link to us instead is like what it is. But the reason this came, came up uh, and why I brought it up to Alex is the format of the uh, outreach email is so predictable. And I get it literally, I get one of these every day. It's the same exact format. I noticed you shared X. You should share Y. Here's why it's better. Um, I get it every single day. I don't know where this exists on the internet and I don't know who wrote it, but I am not a fan of them. Yeah, we get a few of these. They, they tend to pop up in different forms, but the premise is agency publishes an article that mentions a product. The partner team, sometimes, sometimes it's the marketing team reaches out to the agency to ask them to switch the link to say, hey, you link to this company, please link to us. We have a better article, right? And this is uh, something that occurs uh, a lot out there. And yes, you know, this is where your brand needs to check this. If your marketing team is doing this as a, as a partner manager, you're the partner manager, your marketing team is doing this type of outreach, you are burning relationships with agencies before your partner team even has a chance to go in and cultivate the relationship. This could be a good product that maybe Chase would use and maybe he would be a partner with in the future. But if the first introduction to this brand is, by the way, Chase, you did a bad job in your article. You should have yeah, done a better job. The best part about this, Alex, <laughs> that I just realized is this isn't an article. This is a transcription of a podcast. And I didn't even mention that. The guest mentioned this specific website in their conversation. So it wasn't like I picked a different thing. It's just me transcribing the conversation. <laughs> it, like it, it just the, the premise of the email is wrong. And like I didn't share that article. I just linked to the website that they mentioned. And look at the cadence here. We have November 3rd. Then we have four days later. I wanted to check in and see if you got my note about product analytics software. And then on yeah. November 10th, after emailing you, I realize this may not be your responsibility and you're focused on other stuff. Who's the best person? So it's clearly a cadence. It clearly goes yeah, out. It's definitely, it's definitely an outreach strip campaign, which, uh, you know, people can have opinions on. I yeah. use them to reach out for the podcast all the time, but I believe I'm leading with value because I'm trying to feature you on a pretty cool podcast. <laughs> yeah. And, and, you know, and this is something like Mad Berry, it's not even registered domain. So who the hell knows what this is? And you can't even go. When you, to... when you do these shotgun spray outreaches, people always use domains that they just pick up. So uh, it doesn't ding the score of their real website. Yeah, so there may be a madberry.io or something like that. But the point of the matter is, I think the suggestion is, hey, if you're a partner team doing this to get partners in the door, and we have some other variations in, sorry, that's not it, in the uh, cold email, good and bad examples document. But your partner team shouldn't be doing this, of course, but your marketing team, if they are doing this, where they're reaching out to agencies saying, hey, please use our link, not the one you used, that can hurt your ability to partner with them, have them stop that immediately, and then start doing things the right way. So we'll put this in the, in the list. We'll add it to the long list of terrible examples for all of you partner teams to make sure you do not do. And uh, Chase, uh, on behalf of all of the uh, partner teams out there where we apologize for that that was terrible um it's so fine, it's fine. I'm, I'm glad to help uh you know it, it just goes back to the reason that like uh, like i said we're content focused like there's going to be one of you out there that's going to listen to me rant about this and we're going to be a great fit and it's going to make all of this worthwhile thanks for doing that thanks for taking the time to record hope everyone learned something
Thanks, Jason.